BBs and welcome back. So this video is the second video in our Vroid tutorial series and in our previous video we discussed what the Vroid program was, how to navigate through your gallery and workspace, the presets available to you upon downloading, and some other basics. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you should definitely go back and start at that video and then come back and see us here. In this video, we're going to go over assets, customizing them with texture maps, and how to export and sell them. First, let's go over the makeup of our model. Picture a globe. All that really is, is a flat map that they cut and they wrapped around a sphere. Your model is kind of like that bare sphere. Alone without a texture map applied to it, it looks gray. Wrapping the model with these texture maps and gives us something to draw on, essentially like giving it a skin. These maps are what we alter to customize the various parts or let's say assets on our model. Whatever is done on these maps will show up on your model. In that instance, this model is our, our sphere. And this is the flat map that we apply on top of the sphere in, in order to, to get it to show. So for example, these are eye texture maps. They are the reason why her eyes are so beautiful on the model. Whatever I do on top of these maps will appear on top of the model, like this. What is viewable is going to be what is not grayed out. These guides kind of tell you what will be shown. So you have all of this space to work with and this is what will show. Anything outside of this area though will not show because it is out of bounds. In Vroid, you essentially have two viewports. The one that you have when you first come in here, which has your presets and everything. But if you press custom, it'll bring you here to our custom textures. But if we go here onto the right and click edit texture, it's going to bring up a separate viewpoint just for editing textures. Again, to get here, you would press custom at the top on the left and then press edit texture on your right and it will bring you to your map, your texture map viewport. In this viewport, if you notice on the side, you'll see that you have a couple of things listed here to the very far. These are everything on the model in these categories that have texture maps. So we have one for the iris, we already have one for her highlights, we have one for the scleras, the eyebrows, her eyeliner, her lashes, the mouth inside, her lips, her skin, and like whatever face paint is on. So there are separate maps for each one of these. And the reason they are already appearing on your side is because you have them already on the model. If I didn't have any eyebrows, this wouldn't be here. But this gives you an easy access to like modify multiple textures without going back and forth. Well, next to that, we have a couple menus. This first one is your texture and the layers that make up that texture. So all the layers that you have here. I've said before, but we'll just go ahead and kind of cover that again. Layers are basically like transparent piece of paper. You have a base layer, which right here we have none, which it's it's a transparent background. Um, and you want to keep that in mind for any of your textures. You want to make sure that you have transparent backgrounds because whatever's in here is going to show on your model. So you don't want your background to show. Um, so you want to make sure that you're, you're saving your, your texture maps on a transparent background. So you'll start off with your base layer, but every layer you put on top, we can add them here. They're like, we're stacking transparent pieces of paper, which is good to use. So you're not, it's a little less destructive. That way you can kind of have a little more, it's a little more forgiving. And if you make mistakes, you don't have to start all over. You won't have to erase. You could just delete the layer. Um, I recommend that kind of workflow just for me. It gives me mad anxiety to do a thing all in one layer. If I'm not absolutely confident that I'm not going to be deleting things and erasing constantly, but to add a layer you're going to press the plus mark that is at the right hand corner of layers and that'll bring up a new uh, a brand new layer like brand new transparent piece of paper and um, you can draw in here without directly drawing on the map in order to toggle the visibility you'll click the little eye it'll hide it and you can bring it back by clicking it again you also have a second menu that pops up when you right click on the layer itself. This will also give you the opportunity to toggle visibility, toggle alpha lock to let you guys know, see how to uh, alpha lock works. Let's talk about that really quickly. Let's say I really like this. Um, I like the shape of this, but I don't, I want to color it another color without going out of the lines, without having to redraw it. I just kind of want to recolor it in. So if I do toggle alpha lock and select a layer, I can now draw on this. I can basically just draw over what's already in that layer without going out of the lines. Now, if I untoggle it, take it off 
now I again can go outside of what was already in that layer. Um, so it's kind of like it helps you stay in, stay in the lines. Remember that in this viewport and in the regular viewport, um, uh, control Z is undo, control shift Z is redo. Down here, we have color calibration. This is basically on the outside of this viewport in our regular viewport. If you just put basic eyes, you would use these to kind of change the color. It's the same thing. If you turn this on, it gives you the ability to change the color through here by like adding like an add layer on top so that it kind of just applies that layer on top of it. If you don't want to use this and you just want to go with your custom texture, you don't need this, you can turn it off. Um, and your shader color is basically like how it shades based on lighting. Um, you can leave this on. I, I tend to, unless it's something that really bothers me, like I tend to notice it more on like the skin. Um, I'll turn that off or like the hair, I'll turn it off. But back to this menu, um, you also have duplicate, what will duplicate the layer, give you another one. You can delete them here. Um, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this to this layer up here because we don't need it. And then in order to export your texture, so let's actually go back out here to the irises. I'm going to press the X. This pops up and it's basically letting you know that, hey, you edited something in this category. Would you like to resave it as something new or would you like to overwrite the thing that's already there and make this that thing? Um, if I'm absolutely sure I'm done, I'm not going to use the old one, I will overwrite it, especially if I'm coming back and forth, back and forth to make like small edits or whatever I will just overwrite it um, but if you are not sure you're you're done with the version that you're working on I would recommend doing save as new item and just m keeping it there until you are sure and then deleting it um, but for right now I'm gonna close without saving because I don't really need any of the changes that I made and we're gonna go to create now I don't need to save it because again, I already have it down there. It's already saved. If you are editing something, I would recommend that you save it here. Um, but we're gonna start editing without saving. And that put on this brand new texture. It's just a blank texture, basic texture. So we're gonna press the edit texture, go back into our second viewport. And I am going to export this so that I can draw on it in a different editing program because in this viewport, this is okay to edit for some things like get a basic feel but you cannot pan side to side i can zoom in but i cannot move the canvas so you're either going to have to make this all the way big and still work within this confine or i recommend just uh going ahead and exporting these out and working on them in like photoshop procreate whatever whatever have you and then bring it back in here and make like small changes or whatever. But any major editing, I would I would export it out. And in order to do that, you would right click and you're going to press export. Um, you're gonna find wherever wherever it is that you um, would save this. I have a texture folder, so I have textures, custom assets, and then I would put it in here. Let's just say eyes. Um, I'm gonna put it in here. So name it how you want. I'm gonna delete this layer. So I'm just I'm just gonna save it like that. And then you would go into your editor of cho choice and edit them in there and bring it back in here. Like I said, I use Photoshop, but it's up to you. Whatever whatever you're going to use. Once you have that done and you're you've resaved it and you're ready like to bring it back in here, you're going to import it. And in order to do that, you right click, press import. It's gonna bring up your your directory. You find whatever it is that you're looking for. I'm gonna pick this one and I'm just gonna bring in one of these. And it's in here. That is also how you're going to import any basic um, or any any textures that you may have bought offline, um, you buy from me, or like Booth is a really good um, website for texture downloads. If you are not into like customizing them yourself, you can definitely, there are textures out there for you. Multiple, multiple people make these. So you can definitely buy them or download them. There are free ones everywhere. Um, and once you get them, you can go ahead and import them that way. 
I will say that you have to be careful of where you're importing. It's good to note that it has to match. So your eye textures, you have to put them in the eye texture, like the irises. If they are scleras, you're gonna have to put them where it says scleras. Brows go with brows. Your skin goes with skin. Hair has to go on hair, or it just won't match up. It's not cut for that. Um, so you're gonna have to keep that in mind. I do have a video, a separate video on how to do that. I will upload that as well. Um, so you guys will have access to it. Um, but yes, yeah, so I like, discuss it a little, a little, I discuss it alone by itself on that video, but you also have it here just in case. All right. So once you're, well, now that you know how to like import, let's say that you want to actually edit them in here. You have these tools right here. This is the, your select tool. Um, I'm not sure why you would use that in here because you're really not selecting anything. There's no other option than other than the map that, that's in here. But for like hair and stuff, that's what that is. It's like to select whatever you're working on. Um, you have your brush right here. You have the eraser and a smudge tool, blur tool um, here. So if I want to edit in here, I want to show you guys that you can mirror. You do not have to draw one at a time and that will kind of like give you symmetry. Um, I'm going to add a layer and just kind of show you can see this, but now it does it in both before it was only doing it on one side, but now we have it in both. And that my friends is it for this video. So like I said, we went over like texture maps and how to customize them, how to export them and all that good stuff. Our next video, we are going to be focusing on hair. So that one may be a little extensive. It may be in two parts, but I will let you guys know um, once I'm done recording it and I kind of see how long it's going to take. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to use the Vroid forum or comment below on this video if you're on Instagram. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. I hope this is helpful to you and I will see you soon. Bye, babies.